As more and more people spend considerable amounts of time on social networking sites, the lines between personal and professional boundaries are blurred, especially between employers and employees. Regan Cheney, a licensed attorney and HR consultant with Associated Financial Group, is an expert at addressing social networking issues in the workplace. Regan, what risks exist when employers fail to assess employees' use of social networking? One of the main risks is harm to an organization's reputation or brand. There was a recent survey that showed 74% of employees believed that it's very easy to harm an organization's brand or reputation by going on sites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Those, of those employees surveyed, 34% of those employees said, I don't think about what my clients, customers, or even what my boss thinks about what I'm about to post. Additional risks that we've been seeing are a rise in lawsuits against employers for when they permit their employees to go on these sites during work hours. We're seeing lawsuits for defamation, unlawful harassment, breach of confidentiality, non-compete agreements, as well as defamation and slander brought against employers. One of the first steps in this process is working with outside experts to design a social networking policy that minimizes your risk. To learn more, contact a benefits consultant with Associated Financial Group. Whenever you're involved in overseas payments, whether foreign accounts receivable or foreign accounts payable, there is an element of exchange rate risk. However, you have the ability to exercise a level of control when it comes to that risk. We're joined again by Don Lloyd, Senior Vice President and Director of Foreign Exchange and Interest Rate Derivatives at Associated Bank. Don, what are some of the methods that companies can use to mitigate their foreign exchange risk? Foreign exchange hedging to mitigate that risk can really be broken into three different categories, if you want to think of them that way. Three different buckets is what I, how I like to explain it. The first bucket is the forward outright purchase or sale of a currency. So all you're really doing is that you're locking in a rate today to be used at some time in the future. So if you're selling goods, you know exactly what the U.S. dollar coming in to you is going to be. You know what your profit margin is going to be. If you're buying goods and services, you know exactly what the dollar cost of that goods and services is going to be. That's the value of a forward outright hedge. The second bucket is for the person who sits there and wants to protect themselves from any adverse exchange rate move, but they want to benefit if the exchange rate moves your favor. 